हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक सो नाउ ऑथर कैन ऑल्सो यूज सो ऑथर कैन ओनली जस्ट चेक विदर दैट यूजर अ पर्टिकुलर यूजर हैव दैट एक्सेस और नॉट सो यू कैन ऑल्सो यूज द ऑथर कैन बेसिकली इट विल जस्ट सिंपली कॉल द हेज कैप मेथड ऑफ दैट डब्ल्यू पी यूजर क्लास ओके सो दैट यू कैन ऑल्सो यूज दैन डब्ल्यू पी रोल्स इट विल जस्ट सिंपली रिटर्न द ऑब्जेक्ट ऑफ द डब्ल्यू पी रोल्स क्लास दैन अ गेट रोल मैथड सो गेट रोल मैथड इज यू टू टू गिव टू रिटर्न the wp role object class okay so it will just simply call this a uh, method of the wp roles class and it will simply return the wp role object okay class object and then add role um add role you can use uh, add role to add role uh, to, to add a custom roles for example you have to just pass the role name then display name and then their capabilities in the array format in this format like edit post equal to true and some and delete post equal to false okay if you do not pass this delete post then that means that you that uh, capability that user that role do not have that capability okay so having delete po post capability either false or simply remove it it won't give you access okay um then there are some other functions like get super admins okay so if you want to say, check what are the uh super admins users are there so you can simply uh, get there and you can also check whether the current user is super admin or not so if you want to perform some conditional basis then you can use this if you want like if you are adding some uh, custom functionality which only can needs to be accessed by the user admin then you can simply check whether if it's a user if it's a super admin then uh, uh, give or run some uh, particular functionality if it's not then just simply return okay um and you can also grant super admin access programmatically so we can do from the uh, edit user edit screen from the multi site network but if you want to do a programmatically that you can also do so you, you just need to pass the id and it will just check whether that user is already super admin and if it's a multi site setup or not because this will only needed for the multi site setup okay and then simply they will just run some couple of actions and then it will simply add that a uh, user as a uh, site uh, super admin and similarly you can also revoke a super admin access programmatically okay and there are some other functions you can you can look for like you can explore later on okay so um now let's talk about the important function called map meta care which is very important so also go through this documentation to understand that one okay so map meta care function is used to map the meta uh, meta capability to a primitive capability okay so let's let's read out this uh, statement so that you will understand better way so maps a capability to a primitive capabilities required of the given user to satisfy the capability being checked okay so this function also accept the id of the object to map against if the capability is a meta capability and map a ca meta capability such as edit post edit user are capabilities used by this function to map the primitive capabilities that a user or role requires such as edit post edit other post so basically in in short edit post is like the main capability and then edit post capability will be derived to different other capabilities because post will have a different access right so for example author cannot edit the post of the other users other authors right contributor cannot publish the post um then editor have all the access so so if you if you see into the this array for example let me just close this window so in this array if i search with the edit post for example you cannot see uh, edit post itself like there is a edit post but with a plural it's not a singular so all the map map uh, meta capability is not assigned to any roles because this map uh, this meta capability means it will have all the access okay it won't be derived to different other parts whether they want they can publish the post whether they can delete the post or not okay so edit post for example so you can see here uh, in the administrator you can see edit post okay then edit other post edit other pub, edit publish post then publish posts okay um then there are other um other capabilities like delete posts okay delete other post delete publish post delete private post edit private post then read private post okay all these capabilities are derived from the edit post capability 
and similarly there are delete post capability and all the delete related uh, capabilities will be derived from it okay and uh, this um, this map meta care function will use to understand whether the, that user have uh, that particular access or not okay um so we will go through this so this is the like basic uh, i can i can like explain or make it understandable that uh, map meta capability are used to check other primitive capabilities okay so for example like i already give an example let's talk let's see what other examples we have like if we if we i will give a walkthrough about the functions definition and we will understand will more okay and i will also show you the practically like by modifying some changes in the wordpress core files which will be a very easy way to understand for some things okay so um so you can here they have provided example edit post then you can pass the user id uh, edit post then you can pass user id in post id too because if you want to just check against the, some post id then we have to pass whether that user for example author uh are actual author of that post id or not okay so because if we are checking whether author do have access to that uh, current post or not we have to also check whether that post is belong to that author or different authors right so that's why we have to pass the post id as well and the map meta cap whether this capability or uh, edit post meta and you can also pass the meta key whether uh, user can edit a meta but do they do that user have access to that particular meta key so that you can also check later okay um then if you go here this function cap user id and the different arguments and here let me just there are multiple users so for example um remove user uh, will map with the remove users as a plural okay capabilities um then uh, edit user and edit users will have mapped to that capability then for example delete post and delete page okay if these are the two capabilities then it will simply get the post okay and then they will get the post type object here okay and then they will check whether they uh, this um, post type do have this map meta cap or not okay i will show you how this map meta cap works in the next video probably okay so uh, and then they will check whether that capability uh, edit post capability have or not okay so at also let me just give you a quick uh, uh, way okay so let me just uh, go to the roles capability.php file okay simply i will uh, maybe run it later bit uh, for example um 12 okay uh, because before that i have already uh, registered so i will simply this and uh, simply just do a one thing print underscore r i will call a get a post type uh, capability uh, object okay and i will simply pass the static movie uh, post types log here okay and see what things are done here so if you go here i had it in on any took so it will run here so it will just print a, a movie class object id or object a post type object for the movie post type and you can see here the capability so this is the cap okay i will talk about how this capability generated uh, behind the scenes okay but in the next video but for now uh, like edit post will map to the edit post read post will be read post and then create post map to the edit post so if the user have this edit post and if someone checking whether the current user can create a post or not and these capabilities uh, this is the key value key value pair so these capabilities map to these uh, values like the key values okay and uh, they will again they will check whether this thing or the, this is the cap uh, of, uh, of our property of the wp post type object and here you can see the post type then the cap and then dollar cap which uh, capability they have uh, assigned access for and based on that whether it's a delete post access or have not so if you check here delete post are mapped to the delete post okay and if this capability assigned then they can delete uh if that capability uh assigned to that current user and that it's uh, user's role then they can uh they can delete the uh, um they can have access to delete that post and also they they will check whether if the post author is set and the user is the author okay so as i told as i given another example earlier that if the current author can access uh have have access to that 
given post or not because author cannot access edit or uh, the other users or other authors post okay so they have to check and they do a various uh, conditions here okay and based on that it will return the caps uh, add all the all the caps which are needed uh, to check whether that user have access or not okay and then simply do all these things uh, and it will do a lot it will do a lots of stuff so you can check this uh, functions definition one uh, line by line and you will understand it better how this map um, meta capabilities are mapped with the primitive capabilities okay and at and simply at the last um okay at the last it will apply the filter and it's, you can also like filter if you want to filter the map meta capabilities then you can do using this function and then simply return so the, where this function is called by so if you now go to the uh, user can okay this is current user can uh, in the user can you can see this has capability now this has cap uh, method r or uh, me, uh, method of this wp user and then it will run this map meta cap uh, what capability we are checking against uh, the current uh, ID whether it could be uh, user ID and then arguments in the arguments it will be a post ID okay and it will check whether it's a multi-site setup with super admin and this map meta cap will return all the uh, all the cap map capabilities okay and then it will simply here you can also uh, 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 you can filter the capabilities or uh, whatever the capabilities written by that here and it will simply check whether um, all the caps uh, requested are uh, available to user or not if it's not simply then return false okay and if it's uh, if it's do not if it's uh, that user have all that capabilities then simply return to that means the user can do that uh, like user have that access okay so let me see how Maybe it's like too much to understand or maybe the workflow is not going well. Um, but let me try to explain again with uh, like real time example. Thanks for watching. See you on the next one. Jai WordPress.